Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday the 4th. Uh, it is September, and it looks like a September you'd have in, in uh, Ontario. Crazy rain. I'm not sure what we're going to do. The news said it was going to rain, and uh, I didn't bring a rain jacket. So, uh, one of the gentlemen who are taking us out today, he is bringing me a rain jacket, and then we'll be all set. It is 5.17, uh, I got a phone call at 4.55, <laughs> and uh, Carl said, oh, be over by 5.20. I'm like, okay, because that's my job. That's what I gotta do. Um, yeah, so I'm all packed up, got my uh, who dat hat, I'll wear this most of the time. Uh, I got my suntan lotion. There you go. Uh, extra shirt, long sleeve, just in case uh, the sun comes out and tries to fry me. I also have headache medication, just in case something like that weird happens. Got my earphones, got my wallet. Uh, this place has uh, your own um, what's it called? Safe. So I put my laptop in there, passport, and Nexus card safely locked away. All right, guys. So I'm going to go over to Carl's room, get the rest of the camera gear, and then we're out of here. As you can see, we are booking it down over, down the river. What river is this? This is the Chafala River. So we're using these boats to get to a landing and then we have to cross over some land into uh, two other John boats and they're going to uh, transport us to the actual fishing spot. It's going to be cool. This is a bunch of fishing, caught lots of fish so far. And he's just taking us up to another spot. Uh, Carl and uh, Brian are back there. This is how much fish they caught so far. Holy schmoly. That's a lot of fish. All right, we just finished up videotaping. Now we're just booking along. I didn't get time to videotape. The uh, fish were jumping out of the water because of the engine. Just like the scene in the movies. There are television shows. But it's absolutely beautiful here. Just wanted to show you their fishing cottage hut, whatever you want to call it. It is very Louisiana raised, just in case the rivers overflow. Uh, I don't think he said the rivers ever did overflow, but it has got the moss on it. It has got the green algae almost growing on the side. That is very southernish. <laughs> okay. Wow, eh? And there's the new one, of course. And uh, when I was coming here, I stepped over the log and he's like, maybe next time you shouldn't do that because snakes sometimes like to lie beside their log. As I was doing it, I was thinking that was a bad idea. Anyway, the boys are coming. You got your tree with your boat stranded here until the next flood. And uh, before it rains, I gotta get back to the cabin as fast as possible. I wanted to show you the walkway. It's raised above the swamp to get you to the docks. Very, very cool. Uh, we only saw two alligators and baby ones. So the dock is all way down there now. Cypress trees, and that storm is coming. So we're gonna get inside. Not that I couldn't get any wetter than this. I guess I could. All 
All right, we're in the cabin. This is Brian's place. This is just your place, or? Me and Andy. Uh, no. Our company owns it, Ace Plumbing. Ace Plumbing owns this property. Uh, very rustic. Actually, we own the building. We released the property. It's a, oh, really? It's yeah, a lease from the state, yeah. You can't buy a property no, down you here? you can't buy it. You own the camp. You buy the camp. Oh, okay. You got uh, <clears throat> you got to lease the property. It's, it's minute. It's not much. But... Sod fishing go today. <clears throat> it was rough. Yeah. It was rough. It was hot. It was fun. And you called that storm because I literally just walked in the door and it started oh, raining. I knew it was coming. <laughs> it's coming. When you live here, you just like you just know. Yeah. Here's the rest of the cabin. They keep the tour. That's the. That's the. the this is just for my my YouTube thing. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Bedroom. We got air conditioning in each room. The loud noise out back was the um, generator. They don't, uh, they don't have electricity here. So I guess you'd have to like bring tanks of gasoline, which would suck too. All right, guys, I forgot to introduce you, introduce you to Andy. Andy, how you doing? Doing fine. And you were born and raised here or? Born and raised here. Yeah. In That's why he was catching all the crappy. <laughs> <laughs> or as you guys say. Sakale. Sakale. So you guys need to sh tell me the people love to see what I get to eat when I go to these places. So you had to explain the three, or at least the two things that I've never eaten before in my life. Okay. So let's talk about this first. That's a crackling. That's crackling, which is basically a chunk of bacon. Bacon. Dried deep, or something. Deep, yeah. Is that it's what they do? actually did? fried, deep oh, fried. Oh, deep fried bacon. And uh, they leave a little bit of meat on it and... A little bit of fat. And a little bit of fat. Those Look are, at that. Those are the meat and those are pork and skin. Okay. So this to show you guys that I did, this is my third piece. It should be my last piece for today. That's why they call it crackling. <laughs> and what is this stuff? This is Gouda. It's okay. uh, Spell that. <laughs> B-O-U-D. Buddha. B-O-U-D-I-N, Boudin. Boudin. Kind of like Carl uh, 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 announces it, <laughs> pronounces it as a but uh, it's kind of a rice dressing, got rice inside, uh, and meat, and wrapped in a... I ate mine cold, but you can also heat it up. It tastes better heated up, I'd imagine. Heat it up is better. Uh, but to me, it tasted like horka, which is a, a Hungarian sausage type thing. Anyway, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have a knife. We're going to have uh, ham sandwiches now. But I just thought I'd let you know some of the new things I just ate today. Okay, we're all done at the cabin and we're heading home.
Hey guys, I just want to wrap up this vlog for you. Uh, from the time we got back to the hotel, I just started feeling really, really awful. Uh, just the heat of the day just really got to me. I just ordered room service, so I keep thinking that room service is coming. Uh, guess what I ordered? Eggs Benedict. Hey, uh, you'll have to see that in tomorrow's vlog. Uh, I gotta get this vlog out as fast as possible. Um, so got home, got back to the hotel, sat down. This room is so cold. I had to turn the air conditioning down. It's down to 72. Uh, room service. All right, breakfast is here. So I guess we'll talk about breakfast on this vlog. Uh, so there's my eggs Benedict. Ooh, all wrapped in plastic so it doesn't slide. We've got eggs Benedict and hash browns. Uh, orange juice, coffee. I think that was another thing yesterday. I didn't have a coffee, and I think it started to give me the headache. Got back to the room. Uh, like I said, turned the air conditioning so it got warmer instead of colder. I uh, kicked back. It was like, I think we got back here at 4 or 5, and then I ended up watching uh, Coming to America with Eddie Murphy back from back in the 80s. It was a great movie. And uh, Samuel L. Jackson is in there as a, as a robber. Uh, so it was kind of fun seeing him before he became really famous. Anyway, so uh, that's that was my vlog for yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, I was working for, <clears throat> excuse me, working for Carl. So uh, there's only so much I can videotape with my own camera. I would have definitely... The vlog would have been a lot longer and a lot more scenery stuff. Uh, but again, I'm I have to do all stuff for Carl, not me. Uh, I just whenever I videotape, whenever I can videotape, I videotape. Anyway, so this is what the day looks like today. Beautiful day. Uh, yesterday, when we looked outside and I thought it was raining, it wasn't rain. Uh, it was just condensation. These windows get completely. So it was like this when I woke up this morning, but all my windows were all condensated. So. So it looked like it was raining. Anyway, so I'm going to uh, finish off this vlog and we'll continue for t today, which is you're going to tomorrow, whatever. <laughs>